What's up everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic, and today's project, this lovely Porsche 911 RWB. This is a really fun one, but before we jump into anything, I want to do something that I've been trying to do for ages. I didn't even realize it was in the game, so if any of you don't know, you can tidy all of this crap up that is around here, all these little bits of rubbish, all this dirt and grime dotted around everywhere. You see it all there. We'll just go through the main room. Loads of stains there, a bit of dirt down there, some more stains, more stains, more stains, more stains, stains everywhere, dirt, rubbish everywhere, things like that. I wanted to get rid of it and I didn't know you could. Into the customization, go back to one, two, garbage and damage, select the other one, it's just one other option, option one, and then just change away from it and look, no more stains. The floor's all clean. This is wonderful. I just saw this in a Discord yesterday. Um, absolutely fantastic. It's been in the game for quite a while, apparently. I didn't know you could do it, and I'm sure, well, in fact, I know just from the Discord reactions, there was many of people who weren't sure how to do it. But there you go. That's how you do it. Quick and easy clean. Let's jump back into this beautiful Porsche 911. Let's see where we got it from. Then We got it from the barn. It's in incredibly good condition, considering it's got almost 310,000 kilometers on it. Did we get a good deal? We did. I saw it in the end of the last episode. 69,228 is what I paid. Nice. And I could already sell it for 73,126, making 3,898 if I wanted to. But we're not going to do that. Obviously, we're not going to do that. This one has got the B6 M64.50 with a 441 factory brake horsepower in it. This engine is a little bit insane. Let's just jump down the back, take a quick look at it. Um, I believe it's going to all be complete. It's not quite all complete. So we're missing the big intercooler at the top there. Uh, we're missing a couple of covers down the bottom here. One on either side and then a timing cover there. And one roller as well. Is that another piece? There is another throttle we're missing up there as well. So there is actually a little bit missing from this engine today. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We are going to be pitting performance parts all over that. Making this lovely RWB Porsche as fast as we can. And just before I jump in, this is backwards. The reason this is backwards, you can see it's the right way around there, RWB. This one, it should be the other way, RWB, but it's not. It's backwards because it is part of the drift scene livery. I will go through over some more of the liveries with you later on. Um, but that isn't an accident. That isn't a mistake. That is how that is genuinely meant to be part of the drift scene. But let's get stuck into ours. We need to get this one over to the car wash and get it cleaned. Although this wide body kit is pretty clean itself. It's just the rest of the car that's dirty. Here we are then in the car wash. Let's get this lovely RWB 911 all cleaned up, ready to go. Doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. We saw nothing was overly damaged in the white. That's actually looking really good. Not what we're probably going to stick with today, though. We've got a few things to play around with, but let's get the interior done. Get it back on the lift and get that engine ripped out and start stripping everything down. First things first, then we've got to check for oil. This is a split crank engine, so it probably doesn't have an oil pan, but there is an oil drain plug there. So let's get the oil drain over and get this one drained out if it needs it, which I'm sure it will. That tiny, tiny little sliver there is all that it needed. Now let's jump in and start taking some of these bits off because this is obviously rear wheel drive, as Porsche should be rear engine, rear wheel drive. So we need to get these drive axles out first. No wheel on this side. That one is nice and easy. Just need to get this other wheel off and get that drive axle out. There we go. That's that all taken care of. Let's get up here. Let's get the starter out. Out you come. Nice and easy. And then out with the gearbox. Yes, there we go. No rusty bolts on the gearbox. Making my life just a little bit easier. Shall we? Can we even take out the exhausts? I think we should. There's the uh, turbo. These are all bolted on. I'm going to take them out just to be on the safe side. I'm not 100% if they need to come out or not. But we might as well just grab them while we're here. Make our lives a little bit easier. There we go. Now let's get this back on the ground and get that lovely Porsche engine ripped out. Over we go. Grab the crane. Let's just open you for good measure. There we go. And out you come. Nice and easy. Awesome. Let's jump in here and see what we've got going on inside this engine bay. Not a lot by the looks of that. So we've got a fuel fil oil filter on the side there. Uh, the oil plug and obviously the draining tank up there. That's it for at the back. I think this gets built onto the engine. If not, we will do it later anyway. But it is missing, so we don't have to worry about that. Jump down here. So we've got a missing wishy-washy reservoir. We're missing the brake servo. We're missing the battery. We've got the fuel tank and the fuel pump. 
And that looks to be it. No fuse box, no nothing like that. Pretty. Oh, there's the fuse box hiding in the corner. Couldn't see it. It is there. We are missing some bits. One fuse by the looks of that. One fuse is missing. And then we're just missing the lid. Not too bad. I think that's everything for the engine bay. Let's just jump over. That's part of the engine. That's fine. That's all right. So let's check out this suspension then. So on this side, it is a double wishbone, a single shock. We are missing the brake pad, the brake caliper, and the cylinder. We are missing both the rubber bushings on this side, plus the inner and outer tie rod and the sway bar end link. Quite a lot missing from there. Let's see what we're missing on the other side. One and two, both rubber bushings still. We have the inner and outer tie rod and the sway bar end link. We do also have the hubcap and the bearing on this side. So that side's pretty complete. Is the hubcap and bearing. It is still there on the other side. Not too bad. Now, this wheel was on. We know we've got the drive axle. Is the bearing is in there. Cool. We've got to the upper and the lower arms there. Along with the shock, this side is all complete. On the other side, I can already see that it's not. We're missing both the upper and lower suspension arms, plus the actual shock itself. But the rest of it is complete. We do have the bearing. That is awesome. So I'm going to get all of this stripped out. Go and strip down that engine. And then we're going to take care of the lovely Porsche's bodywork. That's everything bought, all repaired, ready to go back on the RWB Porsche 911. But we need to sort this bodywork out. And I know it doesn't look too bad, but it is only at 78%. So let's get all of this stripped off. Probably will be keeping most of this as it is because I like the style of this one. Maybe changing a few little bits, but we'll see what we've got going on in the shop in just a bit. Let's just carry on moving around. I don't quite know where everything is. I've got a general idea. Because I have done this one before. Can't forget that piece there. Is that missing light? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's carry on around. Get all of this out. Out you come. Out you come. And then out with that windshield. Check out the interior. What have we got in here? Just a seat and a steering wheel. I will be keeping that steering wheel. I quite like it. And that should be everything. Let's just double check. 3%. So it's definitely not car part 1B. Now, what is car part 1B? I will try and figure that out. And I'll be back in a moment. Took me a little longer than it should have, but I found it. It is the windshield trim there. Out you come. There we go. That should now be everything. Uh, nothing on there. That's what I want to see. 1%. Are we on the front page? We are. There we go. We have fully got everything out. We do need to get this frame all sorted out now. Now, I paid just over 69000 for this, and it was about a 68%. So I'm going to say 900 1500 Not far off, but still off. Let's check out the shop for this one. I did just come in to find out where that windshield trim was. As you can see, you've got two different windshield trims. You've got the chrome one or the black one. We'll be going with the black one. A few different bumper options. Uh, bumper? Exhaust options to play with, depending on which bumpers you go for. So rear bumper F and G need this one. Rear bumper C, so on and so forth. There are a bit of few things that only go with certain items. So you do have to pay attention when building this one. For example, front bumpers. I think we've currently got that one on, but I want to swap it to this one. I just think it looks a little bit better, but it does look like that does go with all the same things. Front fender C only, so that should just be a straight swap there. If you wanted to go for this RWB front bumper, you'd have to use front fenders E only. So we'll come back to that in a bit. A few different door options. No handle, black trim, obviously normal handle, black trim, black handle with a plaid interior. Nice. And then the rough one, at which is, or the RUF one, which is looks like it's black trim, a black handle with a normal insert. Probably going to go for these ones, if I'm being honest, depending on what the interior shows up with. I'm not sure. Then we've got fender options. Obviously, we want to use this one here because that's the one that goes with our front bumper. If we change to the other front bumper, we'd need to use this one. So just bear that in mind. Just keep an eye on what you're doing there. A few different hood options. They only go with certain bumpers. I'm not sure what was the one we were going to use. We were looking at this one here. So bumper J, so if you go back down, so we can actually use these, this, any one of these three hoods with the bumper we're using today. Nice and simple. Uh, then we move on to the lights. Now, I think we need to use these lights with the C and F fenders. So if we just go back, C and F. Uh, maybe it should be C and E, I'm not sure. But the wide body ones, so we're using these that go with our bumper. See what I mean? You do have to sort of pay attention to what you're doing. So we need to use one of these sets of lights probably this one down here mirrors nice little selection chrome black paintable i'm assuming then the ruf and then another one on there as well rear bumpers here we go now we're going for the rwb but this one here needs to use specific fenders so this one needs to use the rear fender c and g which is this one and this one 
C and G. And now they only go with the front fender C, which is what we are using, and the rear bumper B only. So we can only go for that rear bumper, which I think is going to be fine. I'm pretty happy with that. That's not too bad. Quite an easy one to figure out. Um, and then, obviously, we want to be using the wide body with this trim anyway. So it would either be this one or this one. This one's got a little bit of flare out, so we may see what that is in a bit. What else have we got then? A few other extra little options there. Oh, yeah, that's all right. We're going the other way now. Body windows, stuff like that. More lights, more mirrors. Then some trunk options. Now, I really like the trunk that's already on ours, so we'll probably be sticking with that one, although we may play around a little bit. And then some slightly less in-your-face trunks there looking pretty good. And then a couple of window options. We'll be going with this one because it gets the logo on the band there. That is all of that ready. Now, I'm going to go get our sorted, get it back together. Then we're going to head over to the paint shop and see what we're going to do with this one today. Well, it's time to get this beast all back together then. So let's start throwing some stuff on. I have kept a lot of it the same, such as these front fenders. They are the exact same fenders that came on it. But the rest of this front end is a little different. I swapped the hood out to the debadged hood there. And I've swapped the front bumper to the bumper I said I was going to with the little cutout lights there. Looking pretty sweet. Headlights we swapped to the paintable dark ones with the ring light in them. They look absolutely awesome on this. Absolutely incredible. I think they look great. Windshield obviously is just the windshield at the door. We kept them as they were, which is the no handle black trim. Looking pretty good. Quite pleased with them. Also kept the mirrors the same as well which is the mirror ease, which have got the little black bit. Slightly different mirror than the standard one, looking pretty good. Rear fenders, we did swap these out to the ones with the little fin, as you can see just there, and it sticks out massively with an air vent over the wheel just to keep everything nice and cool in there, looking good. On with the rear window, obviously I did forget one thing, is the window trim, kept that as it was with the black window trim, looking good on there. Moving around to the back, the trunk, we kept the same trunk C, just I think it looks the best on this particular model. Rear bumper, again, kept it the same because it fits with this exhaust. On you go there. And obviously then you've got the rear lights as well. The blacked out ones, which are the rear lights B, which were the ones that came on it. Absolutely fantastic. This is looking so good. Let's just get the other side on. We'll get in and get the interior done. Check we've got everything and then we can head over to the paint shop. So let's crack on with this interior. Over we go. I have swapped the seats out. You guessed it. It is my Nismo seats. There we go. Absolutely love these seats. They are my favourite seats in game. And they just look good in pretty much any vehicle. On to the licence plates then. Last piece. On we go. My virtual mechanic plates. 911 RWB. Couldn't really have anything else on there. They're looking cool. Then we just got to check. We have got everything. I think we have. But I'm not 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Fantastic. Let's get this one over to the paint shop. And see the liveries we've got today. There are quite a few. Here we are then in the paint shop in a base gloss white. Let's just whack that up a little. Actually, let's put this in the middle so we should be able to see everything pretty evenly. Roughly about there. Should be good. Let's jump in and start going through these. There are a lot of them. All made by French Toast. Absolutely fantastic. First slot, you've got the Carrera stripe down the side. Porsche logo on the back there with the Porsche on the windscreen as well. Slot number two is exactly the same but with a blue stripe. And we keep going, then you've got a darker stripe, then you've got a blue stripe again, and then you've got a light blue stripe, so on and so forth. These keep going through lots of different colours to basically get capture all of the different model variants that came with this. I'm just going to flick through all of these while they're still the same. Looking at good, there is a lot of different colour options in there, a lot of different stripe options obviously going on. Look at that, is, oh, is there, there's 20 of them, is there more? Yeah, there is more. Just still going with the Carrera logo around the side. Still looks pretty good. Not what we're going for today, though, definitely. Let's just keep going, keep going. In the red, then we've got a yellowy colour, then an orange, then a different orange. Uh, then, was what, did I even change it? No, okay, so that is maybe a slightly different orange. I'm not sure. Anything else changing? Oh, the Porsche and the Carrera RS does change colour with it as well. So there we go. Ah, okay, now we're into the Martini Racing one. That one looks absolutely incredible. I think that one is fantastic. Uh, then in 34, we've got the Rotana one. Now on this one here, this is backwards, but that is how it was originally designed backwards. So it is left like that by French Toast. I did question him last night. I wasn't sure about that. So I did question him. Turns out that is how it's meant to be. Then we're into this green body, which changes the entire color of my body. Changes the stripe to just on the doors there. And changes it to the Rule Welt logo up the top there for the RWB. 
Uh, then we've got the RWB ones with the black stripe. And is this the right way around? These are the right way around. Some of these are backwards for the drift spec. There we go. We've got slightly different versions, just different colors down the side, different stripes on the windscreen there. There we go. There's one that's backwards. It's not actually backwards. That is how it's meant to be for the drift racing specs. Still looking pretty cool. Still got a couple more to go. On we go. In we go. Is there a couple more? There is some more. Then we've got another racing one. I quite like that one. That looks pretty cool. Except with this fender, it blocks it off, which is a bit of a shame. Then we are in another racing one. That's quite cool as well. That one does go over that fender, so that's quite smart. Uh, 46 is this black and sort of a goldy one. Probably what we're going to go with today. I absolutely love the look of this one. 47 is another racing one, the Momo one. That looks absolutely incredible. Very well done. All of them look absolutely fantastic. Excellent work, French Toast. Now I need to decide what we're going to do with ours. I know it is going to be this one, the Stella Artois one, but I'm not sure which sort of colour scheme to go with. I really like this matte, so it probably will be this. But I'm going to try and match up this colour here. Might struggle a little bit with that. So I'll see you back in a minute if I can, and if I definitely am going to stick with this livery. Here she is then, looking incredible. I've gone for this lovely matte black finish on there. Sort of gives these a bit of an extra edge poking out. They look absolutely incredible. I am very pleased with this. Excellent work with this livery French toast. It does look absolutely incredible. I'm now going to try and colour match some of this yellowy, goldy sort of off colour. Like the colour, not quite sure where to go with matching it, but we'll try and figure it out. I'm going to get probably probably the majority of suspension in that colour. A few splashes of black in there as well. And I'm probably going to try and do the same with the engine. Mostly black, but with this sort of off yellow goldy colour, which I really like. It does look fantastic. Try and get that dotted around on the engine or sort of underneath the suspension. Plastic parts probably going to be in the matte black. The rest of the parts or some of the parts in that sort of color there hopefully it's going to look good but that's what we're going to go with today i need to get some stuff painted let's get this one back on the lift and then we can crack on with reassembly that's everything painted ready to go back on it is looking absolutely fantastic let's get these shocks together on we go we've got the matte black shock with that off color goldy yellow spring on there that is looking pretty good quite pleased with that let's just get the rear one together as well there we go same color obviously this one's just got a silver cap on there looking pretty good let's start getting all of this onto the car then so i mean you've pretty much already guessed it that is the color scheme it is just black and that off color gold in fact let's throw the fuel tank in here which i have done in that off color gold there just for good measure we'll get the pump in as well in with the cross member i have done that one in black because i didn't want too much gold because most of the bodywork is actually black so kind of trying to mix it mix it together but i have done both of the upper and lower arms in that sort of off yellow gold color which looks absolutely fantastic let's get it all on let's have a look and compare it to the colors on the body and see how good it looks hopefully pretty good but we need to get it done so we can see on with the sway bar end link last few bits to go on i've done the hubcap in black and i've also done the brake caliper in black as well it didn't take this color gold at all it didn't look anything like it whatsoever let's have a look though it's actually really hard to tell from there but you can see that little bit matched to that little bit it is not far off at all that's looking pretty good happy with that let's jump down the back and get the rear end together now because you can paint these knuckle housings i did just go for a black to, to go with the cross member at the front there let's just get some more of this on don't worry we can't get to the wheel even if we tried because we don't have the rear drive axles in because the engine isn't in so let's just throw all of that on we might as well get the brake caliper on while we're here in the matte black looking good upper arms is same again all in that sort of goldy color looking fantastic i really like how it looks here i just want to get a better vision of it on the body like against the colors on the body to see if it does sort of look like how it was meant to look that's the rear end together as well. Obviously, just the engine parts that can go in last. Um, what else have we got? Just the other side to do. Let's have a look then. See if we can sort of spot these colors. Actually, that's pretty good, isn't it? On there to there, that's pretty good. And then there to up there, which that one does shine a bit more because it's got more of a deep, not deep color, but more of a color area. But that's pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. Let's just lower this one down and see if we can sort of get a better view. No, I think actually the best view is probably up in the air or maybe crouch down. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can really see it there. That's not far off at all. That is looking fantastic. Very, very happy with that. And to get on and get the rest of it done, 
then we'll get in and get that engine bay sorted before we go and build that beautiful engine well that black and gold looks absolutely stunning very pleased with that the uh fuel tank is a slightly different color but it still looks good and nonetheless i really like all of that i think it is looking fantastic together but let's get up and get this engine bay sorted out i say get up it's more like just get over throw the battery in in the yugo let's get the fuse box base in it is in that sort of goldy yellowy color really liking that looks awesome i don't think you can see it from anywhere but it still looks awesome in with the brake servo in with the wishy-washy reservoir and if i'm being honest i think that's about it that can go in right at the end i suppose the other thing i could throw in now would be that oil filter let's just get you in you're in the yellow but it's not quite worked because it did start as a yellow anyway well that is the engine bay sorted um yeah i thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult than that but i need to crack on and get all of these fuses in and then we'll go build that beautiful engine i think this one does look absolutely fantastic today as you can see i've already made a little bit of a start on the engine let's get this last rod cap on you go ready to start throwing the block on on with one side of the block i have done that one in a matte black we will come back to the rest of the colors in a minute need to get this shaft in and then all of these crankshaft bearings in over the top to get the other side of this engine on so let's move on on we go on you go and in you go now we should be able to do the other side yes also in the matte black i don't know if anybody thought i was going to do that gold for a moment there but no that is in the matte black either side so you've got the main block in the black there looking pretty good let's get all of these bits sorted so we've got engine cylinders three on either side on you go on you go and on you go and then the engine heads now as you can see i've got the two different colors i've got four four of the gold and two in the black so it's going gold on you go black on you go and then gold in the last place in you go that looks pretty good i'm happy with that underneath it for the pipes we've done them in the gold just for good measure you can see there in with the gold and onto the black and he's get all the spark plugs in so i will get all of that done along with getting all of this filled up on the other side be back in a second there we go that's that all taken care of looking good so far i like that sort of black down the center with the gold on either side looking pretty good but let's move on to the front bits here then so the power steering pump i have done that one in the gold looking pretty good the alternator there isn't a performance part alternator for this one so the original one goes in there but in the gold looking pretty good and then the distributor also in that gold on the front there all of the bits coming off looking pretty awesome let's get these distributors all finished up caps themselves i did try gold originally but i went back to black because it was looking a little bit too much gold but i have got black clips all around this lovely one here on you go on you go in you go and on you go oh if i could get you there you go nicely done black clips don't really change too much about it just look pretty good on with the crankshaft fully in you go and then we'll move over to these timing covers now the back sides have been painted in that gold you'll see why a little bit later on as we move our way around this engine in with the cramp camshaft and then on with that cam gear and we might as well get these camshaft bearings in while we're here as well don't require any screws just go on nice and easy in with the timing chain and then one shoe and then we'll move on and get the other side done before we throw the cover on on you go in you go we'll throw you on as well in you go on you go oh i couldn't click it and then the chain and the shoe and that's all that caught up there we go looking lovely so we get the covers on i have done the covers in black some of you might think that's a bit boring but hopefully when we come to the end of this engine you'll see why and uh, you'll see why i did it quite just as i did just the little trim pieces are mostly meant to be in that gold color looking good so far let's get this top cover on that didn't take the gold at all so it did just have to be black anyway so it's not too bad on you go but let's get these heads on have done these in black as well um again didn't want too much gold on there there's hardly any on the bodywork whatsoever so kind of needed to balance it out just a little bit so let's get you on that's that there for the minute let's jump over the other side i'll get this done Be back in a second there we go now we've got all the heads on let's move over to this fan cover so we've done the fan cover in the black there so it surrounds that alternator in the gold and the fan itself is also in that gold just i think that looks absolutely incredible very pleased with that can we get the front end finished now belt one belt two roller and belt three i can that is the front end all finished up apart from the exhaust and the big old turbo bit that goes in front there but let's move on up let's get this intake manifold in this one is in black and it does have a lot of screws so i'm just going to get that done way too many screws on that one but there we go 
the mechanical fuel injector plastic piece had to go in the black otherwise it didn't work uh, and then we can move on so these ignition wires they are in that gold color just to finish off the front of that engine that looks great and then these mechanical fuel injection bits with the wires also in that gold i think that looks fantastic and it gives enough enough of the gold going over the black just to sort of finish the engine off let's get on the last few bits plastic in you go filter in you go and another black plastic part on the front there with these big old clips a's in the gold because they had to be this looks fantastic very very happy with this indeed very nearly finished just got this little throttle to go in and we have done that one in gold just for an extra splash there that apart from the exhaust we'll get these on now is that engine finished and it is looking absolutely stunning i really do love this engine the only thing i don't like is these gold peaks these uh, chrome pieces that i'm finally putting on that finish off this engine i wish we could have got them in sort of like a deep gold like this that would have looked fantastic and along with this big old turbocharger as well if that could have been gold that would have been great but that is that engine all finished it looks absolutely stunning fantastic Do let me know what you think in the comments i'd love to hear from you on this one because i think this one is stunning but i think the thing to see it best is to get it in the car so i'm going to grab some pictures and we'll get this one dropped in i really do think that engine is absolutely beautiful i think i've done a fantastic job there self pat on the back again i probably shouldn't do them but i did let's get this one dropped in and see what it looks like against the car hopefully absolutely incredible let's get you dropped in and let's have a look that went in easy Oh, that looks fantastic. Just mostly blacked out with a few of them at light gold pieces on there. If we just close this down, you can see how close that is to that colour there. In fact, we don't even need to close it down. You can leave it open. It is so close to a match. That is, I'm very pleased with that. That is looking absolutely stunning. Not much left to go on this one. We've got wheels to do, which I'm undecided of as of yet. And we need to get the last few bits in here all finished off. The gearbox in and things like that. So for the gearbox today, I did go for a black to go in with that block. It looks pretty good. Pleased with that. But the starter itself is in that gold color because that looks fantastic. Very pleased with that. Get the drive shafts in or drive axles in, whatever you want to call them. Then I need to get some liquids topped up, some windows tinted and the wheels on. And then hopefully get this car outside in the sun. In fact, we do need to get that intercooler as well in. So let's just bring it back down. Then we can get this car outside in the sun. Oh, you can see the engine through there. That looks fantastic so pleased with this one it really does look great that's not the right button that's the button i want intercooler on you go and then we should just be left with the wheels how does that look closed a bit closer in there it is that looks absolutely fantastic i am so pleased with this one today do let me know what you think in the comments below and get this one all finished off and then we'll be outside here we are then all finished with this beautiful 911 rwb modded in by Payne with this beautiful livery by french toast all included in the mod link in the description below head over and grab this one yourself could just search for 911 i'm sure you will eventually find it but there is a link in the description below if you need it this is absolutely stunning and i really do love this livery there's so many options to play around with this to make the wide body the non-wide body uh, you know off-road equivalent variant which i have done before as well or well, the barja edition looking absolutely spectacular this is a really fun one to play around with and i have loved building this today let's talk about these rims then i have color matched the rims to the livery i think i've done a pretty good job with that as well it looks fantastic these rims here i've kept them as they were when the car arrived they are the rims 8a all i've done is paint them over the top two-tone obviously you've got the black underneath and then the colored bit on the top which have been painted change the size ever so slightly but nothing major still an 18 inch wheel itself or an 18 inch rim we've just gone down a little bit on the width 315 we've gone for on these slick tires with a 30 profile and these front wheels are et25 for this particular one that size is perfect for the slick tires other tires will be require ever so slightly different sizes at the backs now first of all i'm going to say these are et70 at the back bringing them so far out and these rear ones are 18 inches same as the front but they are 375 width which is a bit smaller than what came on it it was 385 i believe to start with with a 30 profile so quite a lot on there that is an 18 inch rim at 375 width with a 30 profile and an et of 70 on the back and at the front is an 18 inch rim with a 315 width a 30 profile and an et of 25 to get that perfect look or as close as makes no difference to that perfect look that looks absolutely incredible so pleased with this one it really does look great and that engine 
I'm so proud of that engine. I think that looks absolutely incredible. And in the right light, you can see it through the grill just on there. Looking fantastic. Really do love that. But let's jump in this one and check out the interior and then see what she sounds like. Very bog standard, basic, old school Porsche interior. I absolutely love it. It looks fantastic. But let's get her started up and see what she sounds like. Bizarre tick over on that one. I quite like it, but let's give it some gas. I do love the sound of a Porsche engine. That sounds absolutely incredible. Very pleased with that, but we need to get this one on the dyno and see what power it's got today. Here we are then on the dyno with the Porsche 911 RWB and its B6 M64.5 engine with 441 factory horsepower. We've added all the performance parts today. How much have we squeezed out of it? A gain of 362 horsepower, 83%. Actually pretty good, not bad at all. Bringing us a total measured horsepower of 802 from our lovely rear wheel drive Porsche. Let's have a look at the gearbox tuning setup today. There she is, a 3.33 ratio, uh, 58 kilometers an hour in first gear, up to 569 in top gear. I'll be happy with the mid to high 400s, aiming towards that 500 mark. Not quite sure if we'll get there, but I'll be very happy if we do. Let's head over to the track and see what she can actually do. Here we are then on the speed track with our beautiful 911 RWB in the Stella Artois livery or the Hard Rock Cafe livery. I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but it looks absolutely incredible. So pleased with this one. Let's see what we can get on the track. I have uh, busted out my controller for this one. So let's go. Off we go. Easy on the throttle in first and second, giving it a bit more towards the end, hopefully managing to keep it up until fourth, keeping it about half power up until the top end and then into fifth where you can really throw all of the power back down again and start really flying up through. Here we go, coming towards the 400. Where will we finish? I'd love to see 500 from this. I don't think we're going to get there though. Are we even going to get 550? Come on, there it is. 5.52, it did tick over to 5.53, so that is what I'm going to mark this one down as. 453 kilometers an hour. I was expecting a little better from this Porsche, but it was very hard to drive. Did have a lot of power going to them rear wheels. It did not like to stay straight at all under full power, so it was a bit of a difficult drive, but 28th for the speeder board is still very, very good. I was just personally hoping to get up towards 500, so still absolutely incredible with that tuning setup we've gone for today, up to 453 kilometers an hour. This Porsche really does look absolutely beautiful. I really do love it. Love it. It's just there. The livery is fantastic. Excellent job of both Payne and French Toast modding this one in. It does look absolutely fantastic. Now, on to some facts and figures about this one. If you stuck around for long enough at the beginning, you saw that I paid 69228 for the car and was already in profit by 3898 which doesn't happen to me very often, but when it does, it is always a nice surprise. Since then, I spent another 75669 modifying this beautiful little Porsche, paying our total spend at 144000 897 i kind of don't want to sell this one because it really is beautiful but i am going to we are going to sell this one today uh, hopefully we'll get up to over that 21 million mark i haven't been there before i don't think not that i can remember anyway so let's jump in let's find out that is the wrong screen i want this screen there we go we're all 100 percent finished it was originally uh well yeah yeah, definitely didn't keep it in them colours, did we? 310, almost 1,000 kilometres. Not bad at all. There are the wheel sizes that came on it factory. As you can see, I brought my fronts down by one and my rears down by one. Also, the ETs, these are for the front wheel. The ET is 25. These are for the rear wheel. The ET is 70 if you get one that doesn't have the wheels on for this RWB type. Anyway, moving on. Engine now up to 802 horsepower, a nice gain of 83%. Actually, it actually balances perfectly on this one. That doesn't happen very often either. But can we make a profit out of this lovely RWB 911? Yes, at about 100,000. Uh, 244,521 is our sale price. Take away our 144,897 leaves us with a profit that is so close to 100,000. 99,624 that is yeah uh, we are going to go over 21 million off you go then porsche see you later there we go 
21 million at 39,939. We made it to over the 21 million mark. Let's jump in and find out what we've got next. Now, this will be for Monday's video. And as some of you probably already know, Monday is the date or the day of the Queen's funeral. So I'm going to make this lovely, lovely Land Rover Defender because she was a Landy fan. She loved her Defenders. In fact, she took the Prince of Abu Dhabi out in one of these and absolutely scared the living daylights out of him. So we're going to make this one for next time. I'm hoping I can get some time in to make a cool livery for it. Something a little bit special, just as a little tribute, a little goodbye to our wonderful, wonderful queen now that she has left us. It's a shame, but life goes on. Long live the king and all of that. Just a little tribute video, a little something special. I'm going to try to anyway. I currently don't have any internet in my house, so uh, I don't even know if you guys are going to get to see today's video. You will do. It just might be a little bit late. So this is for Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful day today. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm trying to get up to 250 subscribers so we can uh, bust out some of our old cars Maybe change a few bits on them, see what we like, see what we don't like after, you know, knowing what we've kept. So that's what we're going to work for. 250 subscribers is my next goal. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.